Hey there, and welcome to the Brain 1988 Movie Review. The director is Edward Hunt. He made such movies as Alien Warrior in 1986, Bloody Birthday in 1981, just to name a couple. Uh, the actors in this film is David Gale from such films as Reanimator in 1985 and Bride of Reanimator in 1989. He plays Anthony, uh, Dr. Anthony Blakely in this film. Uh, Cynthia Preston, she plays Janet in this film. She is from other films such as Carrie in 2013, Prom Night 3 in 1990, and many more. The music score of this film was pretty decent at times, and it helped the movie along pretty well. Uh, what it's about, here's a quick overview. A teen and his girlfriend find a monster brain at a TV psychologist's thought control institute. And uh, that's uh, pretty straightforward to the point. Um, the movie starts off panning over a building on a cloudy day, which to me, I'm guessing, is the institute. Now inside the institute building, it shows a tentacle. The camera pans up the tentacle uh, till it hits the main part, which is attached to a giant brain-like creature uh, with devices all hooked up to it. Um, then the camera fades in and you see... Um, uh, set a satellite, a TV satellite uh, that fades, and then the, the screen fades in again and is showing a live studio audience. They're watching, um, like they're waiting for the host to come out. The host comes out, and he turns out to be uh, Dr. Anthony Blakely. And um, it shows a woman sitting on uh, her chair watching the doctor on TV, then proceeds to call for her daughter, like she's asking her daughter. Uh, if she wants to watch the, the doctor on TV, her daughter declines. She says no because she sees him enough, meaning she's a patient. Um, the woman watches more of the doctor on the, on the TV. Uh, the camera then shows the daughter in the room putting on some makeup. And then some really weird things start happening, guys. I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm not going to mention what happens. But it is really interesting. Those of you who have seen the film will know exactly what I'm talking about. Either way, after the incident, it turns out that the uh, daughter had stabbed her mother to death. And um, that is not quite what the daughter had seen. So either way, it ends up she ends up getting tossed out the window or pushed out the window, which happens to be a few stories up, and she dies too. Um, the next day, a young man can be seen driving. He stops his car and gets out. He enters his high school, meets up with a couple of friends and his girlfriend. The young man is a prankster, it seems. Uh, he puts bombs in toilets, glue on chairs for the teachers. Uh, very classic uh, for back in the day pranking. Um, either way, he gets busted and um, they want to suspend him. Unless he goes to see the doctor from the TV show, which is Dr. Anthony Blake. And um, that night, the young man, you can see him parked out with his girlfriend or making out. They start talking a bit and then... Their friends end up scaring the crap out of them with a mask and whatnot. And then a cop comes from out of nowhere, tells them they have to move. They do. Uh, the next day, the young man is driving uh, to the Institute. Um, he decides to see the doctor. He, As he sees the doctor and what they're doing, like a test type thing, is when the fun really begins, guys. I really actually enjoyed the idea of this film is what I liked about it. I really thought it was a different idea from most films I have seen, but it kind of gave me that Halloween 3 vibe, you know, the Seasons of the Witch. Uh, just, it kind of gave me that kind of vibe to it, but I love Halloween 3, so that's, you know, it's not bad. Um, would I recommend it? Uh, only to B-rated horror movie lovers, really. Um, I can see a lot of people nitpicking this one, but uh, it's the 80s, guys. Come on now. You know, it's not bad. Give it a roll if you haven't seen it. Um, it is free on YouTube. And uh, I'd like to thank Sean Blue Digital for this recommendation. Thanks, bro. Was a fun watch indeed. I really enjoyed this. Um, if you never have heard of Sean Blue Digital, I will have a link to his channel in the description of this video. Um, thank you all for watching.
I do apologize this time because I could not find a trailer. But like I said, it is free on YouTube. So guys, go check it out. It's a really cool watch. Thanks for uh, watching this review. Take care and ciao.